everybody. Today we are talking about why Anne is my favorite character as well as the Dark Rider. But when I'm talking about Anne and the Dark Rider, I'm talking about the originals because I don't like the new characters, as we know. I'm an old player, and I think that the original characters had more depth, and the new ones just feel very censored. I know Star Stable wants to make things kid-friendly, but... I hate when they do that type of stuff because you have players who are older than eight, so anyway. The original Dark Rider was actually in Star Stable for a while, but then they updated the original into the Sabine we have now, which I don't vibe with, but anyway. So I want to talk about why I like the originals when it comes to Anne and the Dark Rider. You guys might know I actually have a Soul Rider doll of Anne, and I have a Dark Rider doll of the original Sabine. But getting right into it, why I really, really love them would have to be, first of all, the cartoon animation style. Like, the way they were designed is just so early 2000s. I love it so much, which makes sense why they kind of look like a comic book, because, like, Star Stable actually used to make comic books, so it's really, really cool that they look so comic book-like, and the way they looked as a cartoon, like, comic book character looked also really really great in the Starshine Legacy games. Those games are heavy nostalgia. They are so well made. I love them a lot. But I really love the original Dark Rider Sabine because although I have that doll on a male doll, I rather think of the Dark Rider in the game as male because when I was a kid playing Star Stable, I always thought that the Dark Rider was a guy. So I got the Dark Rider as a guy, but whatever. But the Dark Rider in Starshine Legacy, as well as when it used to be in Star Stable Online, was really, really cool because they just seemed so dark and mysterious. And also, if you played Starshine Legacy, you know the woods, the forests, were just really creepy. Really mysterious, and I feel like it just added to the vibe because, like, it was really creepy throughout the forest and having to do the quests. And the Dark Riders just being the really, I guess, evil feeling characters were just, it was so cool how everything just made sense. With Anne, she's my favorite character because I'm basic. Like, I really, really am. If I see a skinny, pretty blonde girl, I'm standing. So obviously, I really like Anne because she is such a model. And I've always wanted to be a model, but I'm too short. And not as pretty as Anne. So obviously, it is what it is. So I've always looked up to Anne in that sense because Anne is like everything that you could want to be. She's pretty, she's a model, she has a horse. I mean, what more could you want? I also love Anne's personality. She's so mean. I love how she's such a mean girl. I don't know what it is. It's just so like cool to me because like she is a nice person, but she's just rude. And like, the coolest way possible. I think it would have been such a plot twist if Derek was actually the Dark Rider. That would have been weird. Oh yeah, I also really love Concord. Concord was so cool. He's no longer Concord. Concord is now a mare. And she is totally different now because Star Stable changed everything. But Starshine Legacy really was iconic. I just feel like the way that the graphics were and how the characters interacted with each other and the storyline was just so perfect. Like, if I was to replay any game, I would be replaying the Starshine Legacy games. If you guys ever want me to replay them, I can. I did it last year. I, re I played them and they're pretty cool, but I might replay them, honestly. But yeah, I just sent for Anne so hard because she is just so cool. She's pretty. She's a model, and she's just, like, this rich girl who has a horse. I had a dream one time that I was at her house. I know I've been joking. I had a dream that, like... Now, when I was younger, I used to have lots of dreams of being at Jorvik, and I remember I had a dream that I was at Anne's house, and I remember walking into her room, and she had, like, dressage boots on the floor, and she had this nice dresser, and there was, like, a photo of Concord on it. Like, that's so weird. And I remember I left her room and was walking down the hallway, and it was like a mansion, kind of. It was like really, really, like, interesting. But I just think that Anne and the Dark Rider are just like so iconic because, like, for that time period and the way the game was designed and for the storyline, it was just everything that 
I think a horse gamer could ask for. You know, you get like a really fun storyline, horses, and also really interesting characters. I feel like they had a lot more depth back then, lots more feelings. I feel like today the characters are kind of just, you know, not really that deep. They're kind of shallow, which is like funny though, because like originally people thought Anne was shallow for being mean, but now she's literally shallow because like she doesn't really have that much like personality anymore, which would make sense because she escaped Pandoria, but I just feel like because we got new writers and a new reboot of the game, I guess, everything is just different, and it is what it is, but that's not going to stop me from loving the original games. Obviously, lots of people want you to move on and like the new version better, but like you can't choose what you like. You really can't. So I'll just love the old games in peace and really enjoy Anne and the Dark Rider. They were cool. I also really liked Linda, of course, as well as Alex and Lisa. They're cool. But my favorite's always Anne and the Dark Rider, of course. But Jessica was also really, really cool. I love Jessica. She's so slay. I remember for a while I really wanted to have, like, all of the Dark Rider and Soul Rider dolls. But I don't think I'll do that because they only really have attachment towards Anne as well as the Dark Rider, Sabine. Because they're just so cool. Like, Anne is just, like, so perfect, and the Dark Rider is just so evil. It's, like, best of both worlds, and they're so cool-looking. And the way the storyline made them, the way the characters interact, it was just so epic. It's just so good. So if you want to play Starship Legacy, obviously get the games. But, yeah, I just love the Star Trek Legacy series. I really, really do. It was iconic. It's everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much all. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!